After installing the AvPoint Fly apps in each of your Microsoft 365 tenants that are going to be part of your migration, and doing the same for the service accounts, your next step is to set up what's called the Auto Discovery Scan Profiles. Now, a scan profile, please note, is not required in order to perform a migration. However, it is required if you want to use what's referred to as auto mapping. The auto mapping feature will allow you to take objects in your source tenant and automatically map them by their names to objects in your destination tenant. This can be very useful for mailboxes or from Microsoft Teams, SharePoint Online Site Collections, OneDrives that have similar information. If you don't create this, you can still do your mappings, but you're going to do them either one-to-one, -one, that is, input them directly into Fly when we get there, or you can import a file that has your source to destination mappings. But if you like the idea of the auto mapping, a scan profile is necessary. So to do that, in AvPoint Online Services, over on the left-hand side under Auto Discovery, we go to Scan Profiles. Please note that scan profiles are also required if you're using any other AvPoint Online Services solutions, like Cloud Backup or Policies and Insights, for instance. So having just the one scan profile will cover all your bases for each one of your tenants. So we click Create, and we have two different types of scan profiles. The easier of the two is Express Mode. With Express Mode, you're simply telling it what you want it to go out and connect to Microsoft 365 and Index. You could also say Catalog if you like. Essentially, the entire job of this particular feature is to go out into Microsoft 365 and see what mailboxes are there, what OneDrives are there, and so on. It will then lump these into what are called containers, and the default name for your containers is default. We will see that in a moment after we run the scan profile. Advanced mode profiles allow you to actually create your own custom containers based on metadata rules. So for instance, if you wanted to break up your mailboxes by region, North America, Europe, APAC, and so on, you'd be able to create rules that target an internal user's metadata showing their region, and you'd end up with the North America mailboxes container and the EU mailboxes container, and so on. We will cover that in a separate video and talk about why that could be important as part of your migration. But for right now, let's say I just want to go out and have it catalog everything, and the default container structure for our purposes is fine. With those objects selected, we click Next. The first thing you want to do is give it a name. Now keep in mind, if you have multiple tenants, which you will in a migration of this nature, you're going to have multiple apps back under App Management. So it's recommended that you put in a name for the scan profile that in some way indicates which tenant it is, especially if you want to scan both. If that's going to be the case, you're going to need two different scan profiles, one for each of the tenants, assuming only two is part of the migration. If it involves three or four or five tenants, of course, just like with the apps, you'll want to scan each one, again, if you're looking to do the fastest possible method for that auto mapping once we get into Fly. So for our purposes here, I'll do one and we'll show it for our 730 demo tenant. Now something to note, in our video on app management and service accounts for Fly, I talked about how the Fly app out of the box does not have Exchange Admin permissions by default. That was a choice we made for security considerations. Please note, if you have not given it the Exchange Admin role in Azure Active Directory, when you choose this, if back on the previous page, if you had mailboxes checked off, you will get finished with exceptions as a result of the scan. To get around that, you either want to give the app the appropriate permissions as described in our other how-to video, or you could potentially use a service account instead. For our purposes here, I know that I've given the app that permission, just for simplicity's sake. So I'm going to leave it set to the app. You can see it wants to run this once per day. You can set the exact time of day that you like. The reason that runs once per day, of course, is to account for new objects. Over the course of a migration, which is a project and can potentially take weeks or even months, 
users in the source environment can be creating new objects. Self-service SharePoint Online site collection creation, new teams, and so on. You want to make sure that you're capturing those, that you are indexing those into the scan, so that way when you go into Fly, those automatically show up there for you. All right, those are the only choices we need to make here. So down at the bottom, I'm going to click on Save and Run. If I now go back over to the left and click Scan Profiles, we will see that this is in fact scanning. I'm going to pause our recording and come back when it's done so we can see the results. Okay, so now we can see that the scan is completed. And if we select it and go into Scan History, we can see down at the bottom, we have our mailboxes showing up. We have our OneDrives showing up. And we can see the names of the containers. These names will show up again once we get into Fly so that we will be able to select those containers and then try to create those auto maps as I described earlier. Now, just like your apps and your service accounts, if you would like a scam profile that provides you information about the objects that you have in your destination tenant as well, you would again come back here and create a second scan profile using the app that you had installed for that particular tenant or the service account that you created for that particular tenant. So you could end up with two of these. Again, please remember, this feature is primarily going to be used in Fly to auto map from source to destination based on name. It is not required, but if you like the idea of that feature, you're going to want to set this up before you even go into the Fly application. Thanks for watching this short video on how to create an AvPoint Online Services scan profile for your Microsoft 365 tenants as part of your setup for your tenant to tenant migration using AvPoint Fly.